Let's learn how to make screencasts with Screencastify. Step one, download Screencastify. To start, please make sure that you're logged into your Ann Arbor Public Schools account. First, we need to download the program. I'm going to Google Screencastify and click on the first option that comes up. First, you need to add it as an extension to Chrome. Click the blue box, Add to Chrome, it's free. It's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. Again, you need to click Add to Chrome. Add extension. It takes a minute. There's a quick download. And now, it's been added to Chrome. Now, at some time in this setup process, it's going to prompt you to subscribe. You do not need to subscribe. To sign in, click the red arrow at the top. Sign in with Google. Sign in with Google. You'll want to use your school email account. It's going to ask you to give permissions to Google. Allow it. You need to set the permissions to allow both the camera and the microphone and the drawing and annotation tools. This does not mean that every time you record, it's going to have the camera on, but you need to allow it. Press allow. Press allow. Introduce yourself. I'm an educator. I teach grade school. And then we're done. Now you're all ready to start screencasting with Screencastify. The red arrow in the top right hand corner is all you need to press anytime you want to create a video. To make your first video, click on this red arrow up at the top and a box will open with different options. If you're just getting started with making screencasts, it's easiest to use your desktop. You can also choose webcam only, which will only show your face. But again, if you're making screencasts, I recommend desktop. Make sure your microphone is moving. You should see this green bar moving up and down when you talk. If it doesn't, make sure you press select and you're using your internal microphone. If you would like a video of you as you're making your screencast to come up in the bottom of your screen, press embed webcam. You'll need to select FaceTime HD camera. It's only recording when the green light is up by your camera. So if you don't see the green light, like you shouldn't right now, it's not recording. There's a few more options as well. You can make your countdown longer to start recording and you'll probably want to show the drawing tools just in case. All right, I'm doing a desktop recording with my webcam. Let's press record. Press the blue record button. You'll notice there's two options, your entire screen or an application window. I recommend doing your entire screen. It's much easier. Click and press share. There's our countdown, three, two, one. I always press hide so this doesn't show up in my video recording. As you're screencasting, um, there's some tools at the bottom. First of all, if you wanna get rid of your video, you can press this button and your video will go away. If you want it to come back, you press it again. Um, this is a tool that allows you to draw and you can erase. You can also change how you want your mouse to look. This button gets rid of the tools. If you ever accidentally press it and need your tools to come back, you can press Option T and it will come back. Once you're screen recording, there's unlimited options for what you could do. You could navigate a web page with your students, you could go through a distance learning assignment with your students, or you could present slides with your students and talk over them. At any point, you can click here, sometimes it does take a minute, and press pause. That gives you a moment to pull something new up, to take a break, get some water, think about what you're going to say next, and when you press play, it starts recording right where you left off. When you're finished with your screen recording, press the red triangle in the top right corner and then click the red stop button. After you press the stop button, your video will open in an editing page. There's a few options for what you can do. You can trim the beginning or end off of your recording if you're not happy with where you started. Anything in red will not be included in your final recording. You can also give it a title, which I highly recommend. 
If you don't give it a title, your screencast will get hard to organize in your Google Drive. There is nothing that you have to press to save it. It automatically saves. Time to share your video with your students. There are options to share to Google Classroom. I think it's much easier to go into Google Classroom and add it, so I don't recommend pressing that link. You can also publish to YouTube. I recommend that if you want to upload your video to Edpuzzle or to a Google Form. When you're in YouTube, remember to make it either public or unlisted, so only people who have the link to the video can view it. If you leave it private, no one else will be able to see the video. Again, I don't recommend sharing it to Google Classroom this way. Instead, the best way to share in Google Classroom is to go to Classwork, create an assignment, a question, or material, and then add. When you add, click on Google Drive and click on Recent, and your video will show up in your recent recordings. You can also search for it by name. This is why it's so important to give your screencastings a title. You'll press add and voila, all of your students can view it. If you're interested in learning how to embed your video as hyperlinks, watch the next video. I hope this was helpful for learning how to screencast with Screencastify.